Hi guys, it's Bike and School here and uh, I'm very excited to be back on the channel. Um, I am actually currently up in Scotland. I am at Inalefan, literally on the trails. Um, I've got my brand new F-Stop Ajna or Anya uh, rucksack. I haven't heard it pronounced, but I think it's probably Anya. It's got an A-J-N-A. -A. Um, it's awesome, we've got all the kit in there. Uh, and I've just cycled across from Garshiel, so I took the train down from Edinburgh this morning. Uh, it's already about quarter to five, so I'm not going to get too much done today, but uh, I've come out to one of my favourite trails, which is super techy and very, very wet and muddy. It's currently raining, I don't know if you can tell. Um, ooh, we've got a little bit of cloud blowing in through the trees, that's nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm through the stoke to be back. Uh, I'm enjoying living there in Cambridge, but I don't get to ride. I haven't been riding, really I haven't been riding since last July, which was the last time I was down at Glentress. Uh, so it's kind of crazy to be back here with the bike. I've got four days then in Leithen. Well, three and a half now. But um, yeah, we're going to do some riding, do some filming, and this is hopefully going to be the first uh, instalment of that. Uh, I've come to Bart Trail, which is uh, just next to Make or Break on the Inner Leithen downhill side of the trails, uh, side of the hill. Um, and uh, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite trails here. So let's see how I can ride it after uh, sort of nine months off the bike. <laughs> so uh, John Vargas uh, commented on one of my videos and wanted to see a bike check uh, on my uh, Nuke Proof Snap, which is uh, what you can see in front of you here, which, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's five years old now and uh, it's a 2012 model. So I got it in the, the sort of next year sale and uh, it's still got the same frame and the same forks and I think the front rotor is maybe the same basically everything else is uh, completely different <laughs> um, and ev well basically everything's broken uh, to some degree which is uh, comes down to being a student and not wanting to spend any money and uh, now I've been living down in Cambridge, I haven't had any reason to spend any money, so it's uh, stayed pretty much the same. Um, at the front we've got uh, RockShox Argyle R, the 2012 version as I said. Uh, those are completely rigid basically at the moment. Uh, they have been serviced once in five years. Uh, though they've never really been riding particularly sweet, so at some point maybe I'll, I'll swap those out for something a bit smoother. But I think uh, a new bike might be <laughs> might, might come first. Uh, at the front, I've got a Shimano XT brake, which is still not too bad. It's uh, it needs bleeding, but it's all right. Uh, that's uh, that's a few years old now, but it's still still got a decent kick. Um, on the back, I've got an SLX brake. Uh, I had to replace the XT because it got absolutely destroyed. Uh, thanks to perhaps mainly thanks to golf course trails, no doubt. Um, which we will be filming at tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, then on the rear wheel, we've got a Shimano cheapest whatever rim. And at the front, I've got absolutely no idea what it is, but it was a freebie from uh, my old mate, Joe Swan, uh, who's been in a few of my videos. Uh, so that's still running sweet after a couple of years. <laughs> uh, yep, you may, may remember uh, a couple of years ago, I destroyed a new, the original rim uh, nicely tackered well not not completely tackered but gently tackered uh, when I uh, tried to do a no-hander and that went badly wrong I'm running a uh, drill max high roller twos one of the front ones actually in reasonable nick the rear is absolutely pretty much bold um, they're actually my favorite tire but really not great for uh, Cambridge so I will be swapping those out for something a little bit more uh, skate park orientated probably um, bars and stem and all that sort of stuff is actually still still uh, stock so that's all all original nuke proof generator components um, I swapped out the bars last year for some Easterns with the fit grips and they are super good they're really good probably one of the best purchases I've made I think uh, my previous grips were, <laughs> were in absolute tatters, so it was good to get those. Uh, one of the best features of this bike is the absolute mega seat post. Uh, came from 
Oh. I have to spy it in specially. Uh, well, no, I don't have to buy it in specially, but I uh, had to get it from a particular store, online store, which I will put in the description because it is a good little place, little online store. And uh, saddle, absolutely crap piece of awfulness, which is six or seven years old at this point. Um, yeah, it's destroyed. Um, it's been landed on a few too many times. It's a bit bent. <laughs> uh, and then, where else are we at? We've got, ah, so now we've been down to some other good features. Uh, Shimano Z uh, crank set from last year. That's actually not too bad a nick. And uh, Shimano Z Duralier as well. And uh, just a sort of, probably an SLX, I'm gonna say. I have no idea what the cassette is. Something, something SLX-y. Uh, the front, front oh, I've got a, uh, oval black spire, uh, narrow wide chain ring, and I've got the top guide part of an old gamut as well as the uh, bash frame from that, which was uh, actually an ex Scotty Lachlan pair gamut <laughs> um, back when I think back when he was sponsored by them a few years ago. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much everything apart from the pedals. Uh, the pedals are Superstar Nanos, which are lethally sharp but absolutely fantastic. I would definitely recommend them. Uh, they are now a year old, so I raced, uh, I raced downhill, by the University Champs downhill last year on those. Uh, so those were absolutely awesome for that kind of stuff, keeping your feet completely solid. Uh, yep, so yeah, Shimano, basically everything Shimano. Uh, yeah, so that is my bike. It is in pieces. It's. Uh, Missing a spoke at the back because uh, <laughs> basically I, I have not been taking care of this bike at all, which is completely on me. Uh, it needs a it needs a bit of love, um, which I will hopefully be able to give it in a couple of weeks' time uh, when I have some space. At the moment, it's been living outside, which is obviously absolutely dreadful. Right then, let's see how it rides. It's a uh, completely untrue on both wheels and the both bearings are completely shot so yeah basically it's a miracle it's still working in any capacity um, and we will see how long it keeps working uh, during the duration of this week <laughs> Slow, muddy, and petrol. Well, film's going pretty well so far, uh, considering I haven't been riding for so long. Uh, this was a kind of a crazy choice for a first trail to ride, but uh, it is one of my favourites. So uh, it's awesome that it's still feeling like one of my favourites. It's so much fun to ride, even if it doesn't look that fast on video. Uh, it's fun to video, and because I need, I feel like I need something to edit, which is why I'm filming. Um, it's been a bit dull now I'm going to edit. So I've got stuff to edit. Awesome, having an awesome time riding. It's good to session corners and like rooty stuff as well which is like just you just haven't been riding at all um, and the clouds are coming down which is awesome got like nice misty sort of looking trees and moss is really green so yeah it's awesome actually really enjoying today so far it's now after six o'clock so i don't think i have that much longer but uh yeah we'll see hopefully another hour or so of filming and then back down to the car Back down to the car? I don't have a car, hence why I had to cycle 15 miles in the train station. No, back down to where I'm staying down in the village. Um, so, yes, let's go. Continue.
bonus hunting for uh, cool little features like this falling down tree. Gives you a cool something cool in the background and uh, yeah as you can see the green the moss is all up on the trees which is really cool. Right then this is gonna be a really really tacky little bit. <laughs> it's very tight and very very rooty. <laughs> section final shot for this section lights a little bit too dim for the camera to keep the high quality so call it a day there head back I think it's getting on for eight o'clock so yeah Woo! hi guys it is day two of my time down in Leatham and uh, I've come across to the golf course or golfy or Cabestum as it's known, and um, yep, I'm now sitting at the top of the uh, community service trail, which is one of my favorite trails across this side of the hill, uh, and probably one of my favorite trails in the valley. And it is actually surprisingly dry. I'm surprised how dry it is. It's looking not too bad at all. And I've wet a little bit of air at the tires. Should have done that yesterday, really, but uh, I don't know. Probably running about 35. <laughs> so it's still pretty hard, because it is pretty rocky. And uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get any flat. So running a little bit harder than I might usually. If I was running a Benali, for example, a Benali, I'd normally run about 28. Um, and yeah, here we are, ready to get on with uh, day two of filming. And uh, we'll see how we get on. It's going to be a fun one. It's steep and rooty, and yeah, really good fun. <laughs> So we're out here um, down quite a bit now on the community service, uh, getting pretty steep now. Starting to run a little bit of little memory, which is a bit worrying, but uh, hopefully I can clear out some crap with tonight and we'll have enough to carry on filming tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's getting pretty gnarly, a few rocks to the shins, which is always good. And uh, yeah, still stuck on how the bike's riding, it's riding not too bad considering one absolute wreck it is. Yeah, going well. Well, it's holding dry. Trail's still pretty dry. Sick. <laughs> Well that's day two of filming at Inleaf and uh, completed uh, and I'm so tired but uh, just at the bottom of the community service now it's been a long day, lots of uh, running up and down but uh, yeah it's been really fun, one of my favourite trails so I guess uh, if you want to check it out then you've seen the video now um, yeah, you can find it over on Trail Fox, I'll put the link in the description it's an absolutely awesome trail 
Well, I've been just coming to the end of my uh, time in Ilifen and uh, day day four, as I will be heading back to Gala Shields to get the train back to Edinburgh later on today, but I've got a little bit more riding up plan. And it's been a really good sort of couple of days, doing uh, Bart Trail on Monday, and community service on Tuesday, and then uh, filming on Flat White with Callum yesterday was really good as well. The weather was all over the place, but it was mostly dry. So uh, it's been really fun, and uh, yeah, it's been really good to be back in the valley. And uh, shout out to everyone in the local community who's been digging, digging all of these awesome trails. Uh, the bottom section of gold is just absolutely amazing. It's just corner, 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 corner. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to film there later on, to, later on today, but uh, I don't think I can ride them. Like, I don't think I can do them justice. But uh, they are absolutely phenomenal, and uh, you can check out some videos over on uh, Lewis Buchanan, and that's uh, Instagram. Uh, it's been, yeah, it's just been really good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to go up to this weekend, but uh, yeah, more riding probably. <laughs> and then back down to Cambridge and the Flatlands, but it's been uh, awesome to be back into do loads of filming, which has been awesome. Yeah, I've been missing filming so much. So it's been really good to get the camera out and do something. I think maybe I will be more motivated when I go back down to do a little bit of vlogging content. Um, it's just figuring out how it's going to work because there's not really any trails. So it's making videos that are otherwise interesting, even without the writing. That's uh, probably the main aim for the next uh, few weeks and a couple of months anyway. Um, hopefully when I move into the new flat I will have a decent space for filming, which I just don't have at the moment. Um, I'm hoping to have a sort of little little space where I can do filming, uh, which would be really cool. And it would help me actually make videos, because uh, at the moment it's just like so demotivating because there's just nowhere I can really film comfortably um, without feeling really awkward. <laughs> like filming outside is just really awkward, uh, unless I'm in the middle of a forest. Or, uh, yeah, I'm just not used to this kind of uh, vlogging style, as it were. So, yeah, being in somewhere super, like, small and cool with, uh, if, well, essentially it's going to be like a summer room uh, where I'm moving into. So, well, not where I'm not moving into the summer room, but where I'm moving into has a summer room, which should be a pretty good little place to be filming. So, yeah, hopefully that'll be happening in the next few months, and uh, I will be able to have more content on top of these vlogs I've been putting together over the last uh, few days and uh, maybe even a little bit more filming to come in the next uh, couple of days, we'll see. <laughs> Might have to pick up another memory card to uh, finish off on Sunday, Benali, but uh, yeah, it's been awesome and doing a bit of climbing as well. Um, I led my first route, which was pretty scary, but um, yeah, I went from top roping for the first time in about six years, no more than that probably more like eight or nine years. Um, that was just with scouts, so we didn't really do anything technical. So this was leading, a, well, I did top rope to 6B just about, uh, almost, pretty close to it anyway. I, I did fall off at one point, um, but uh, then I did lead a 6A, which was long and like really chuggy, but it was really cool to actually have the experience of going up properly high. Um, yeah, it's been awesome. Because I'm mainly, I'm mainly a boulder at the moment. I've been bouldering since I went down to Cambridge three times a week. And uh, it's been really fun. It's been a good replacement for biking. But um, yeah, it's been awesome to go on the ropes uh, last weekend. And hopefully I will be able to go on the ropes later on this, uh, later in the uh, year. So yeah, it's been awesome. That's my, what I've been up to really is climbing as opposed to biking. And uh, I guess it's figuring out how I can get into filming and climbing as well. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, obviously you can't really, well it's difficult to film inside, very very difficult to film inside, a session. <laughs> um, and there's not an awful lot of outside crags that are near Cambridge, so it's not the ideal place to be filming, climbing, but uh, we'll see what we can do, and uh, hopefully we'll have a few adventures over the summer, which will hopefully result in more content as well. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully there will be a few more bits and pieces over the next little while.